Hi, One Piece Nation here today with an incredibly quick One Piece news video, which I will actually be doing a stream about later tonight. But long story short, thanks to the One Piece podcast and Yoko Production, link to Yoko Production's Twitter and YouTube channel, as well as the One Piece podcast website, will all be in the description box down below. But thanks to the sources, we can confirm that the One Piece editor has stated that the Wano arc will begin in 2017 and the Whole Cake Island arc is, half, is at the halfway point. Now, I don't know why all the big announcements are always made when I'm busy with stuff with school. I'm 90% sure Benira Sanji was announced during midterms as well last year. I guess Oda just likes screwing growing with me, but whatever. But the article states that Oda's current editor, whose name I cannot pronounce, I'm sorry, who has been working with him since 2015, was recently featured on a School of Jump, on School of Jump, an online situation video program. In an interview, the editor stated that the Hulk Island arc is past its halfway point, and the Wano arc story will begin in 2017. Now, what does this mean to the future of One Piece? I'll discuss it in more detail in the manga. Uh, not the manga, in the live stream. But this means we'll most likely be getting a Zoro-centric arc very soon. But, unfortunately, we have seen that what Oda said, like, the year of Sanji is sort of the year of Sanji. But it also isn't. Because we don't talk a lot about Sanji. Like, Sanji's the center point of it. But he doesn't do much. I mean, I remember when Yuro Sanji got announced, we were all talking about uh, Sanji's solo journey and all of this. No, it's just, it's just a simple Sanji rescue arc. So, I'm not as hyped as I would have been from a year of Zoro. But either way, we're probably going to get a year of awesome Zoro ness and badass ness in Wano. And Wano's in 2017. Meaning, this whole King Island arc is coming to an end. So, yeah. We're at the halfway point. He also said that I think Oda's trying to have better pacing. He doesn't want to have another arc that drags on like he did with Drekrosa. So, yeah, Drekrosa would probably leave aside from a big finale arc. Possibly the last, like, super long arc in One Piece. Well, Hulk King Island does feel relatively long, it's... Oh, not even most likely going to be a year. I would say, here's my prediction. Whole Cake Island will be over by February. That is my prediction. Around February, the arc will end, and we will enter the Wano Kuni arc, which is so exciting. The Wano Kuni have been hyped for years now, and this is the time where characters like Zoro and Kinemon will get to shine. So, um, yeah, that's just a quick little announcement I wanted to do, telling you guys who didn't know, so you would know. On my live stream, I'm gonna have to push it back until 5. I'm sorry, I have more stuff to do. Unless it's in the middle of midterm week, I had, I have to do, I have to make sure I have time to do my homework. I have other things I need to do before I can do the stream and do my homework. So, yeah, I do have to put the stream back until 5, maybe later. I'm sorry. Just wanted to let you guys know the news in case I had to put the stream back tremendously. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me what your predictions are for all of this in the comment section down below. Like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a great day. Link to my Twitter and Facebook will be in the description box down below. Check those out.